那么这个实景跟自景有什么关系呢 ？And how is this realm of consciousness related to the realm of wisdom of the Buddha？ 就是因为自景有两个功能，就令这个实景能够升起来。And we have to understand this、uh, from the perspective of the realm of wisdom in a way that the realm of wisdom itself has two functions,、okay? and it is based on you know the functions of the 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 realm of wisdom that you know our consciousness consciousness realm can arise. 这自景的两个功能，我们就把它叫做另外给一个名词给它。就叫如来法身功德了，这么立，哦，达达嘎布，达达嘎达嘎布。So one of the two functions of the、uh, of the realm of wisdom is the、uh, the virtues of the the truth of body that we mentioned earlier. So you know the the Dharma Kaya, the realm, sorry, the Dharma Kaya or the the body of truth that we we talked about earlier. You know, it's not just a state. It's not just a realm of some sort. It itself has its own functions. Okay, so we call those functions the the merits, you know, or the virtues of the Buddha. 两种功德，第一种我们叫做现分。这个现分就是自景上所有的生机，没有这个生机。我们这个世间，我们这个实景就不能升起了。So one of the two functions of this realm of, uh, sorry, one of the two two functions of this uh, uh, Dharma Kaya, the body of truth, is the、uh, the vitality. You know, it's the aspect that allows things to arise, that allows life to exist. 第二个，我们叫名分。名分就是。令所有的个体能够分别出来的，能够把它区别出来的，这样的一种作用。所以我们每一个人都有不同的相，而且再说，人跟小狗也有，就是不同的形象。这些不同的形象，就是从一个现分，令它有实景，能够有了别的可能。And the second function. It is a cognizant aspect that things can be cognized, things can be distinguished into different kinds.、Uh, for those of you here who know Tibetan, you know the, the first function is is known as Nangwa, and the second is known as Sawa.、Okay. So it, they are about first of all the the vitality, you know, and second the 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 aspect of、uh, cognizability. 所以，灵马派收到学收法了，其实就是收这两份。So the practice of the the Nyingma school of Tibetan Buddhism is all about the practice of these two different aspects, ah,、uh, or not different. These two related aspects of the the Dharma Kaya or the the, the body of truth. 当收现份的时候，我们就叫升起四地。And the first kind of practice that is related to this、uh, vitality is known as the generation stage of practice, which、uh, I'm sure some of you here knows about. You know, Tibetan Buddhism that it is about the practicing of mandala or the generation of deities and so forth. So, 名分就是越加圆满次第 And the second aspect is about the, the perfection stage of practice,、uh, which allows. You know, uh, luminosity to to arise naturally. Ah,、啊 So to conclude, you know,、uh, I know that there are many terms involved here, but、uh, to to give you a, a conclusion about this is that、uh, the the attainment of the Buddha can be described as the attainment of a realm of wisdom, and this realm of wisdom, as we mentioned earlier, is also known as the the body of truth.
okay, we call it the Dhammakaya. This Dhammakaya is not just uh, you know, a principle of some sort or, or an empty realm. This realm of wisdom itself has its own functions. You know, something that comes innate with this uh, realm of wisdom are the two functions of vitality and the function of you know, uh, cognizability. And it is through those two functions that our realm of consciousness can arise. Okay? So in other words, we, you know, our, the way our mind function is actually you know, within this uh, state of wisdom of the Buddha. You know, and yet, we are not aware of that. So the entire description that I, I summarized just earlier is known as the Buddha nature, okay, or the Tathagata Dharma. Okay. So uh, the, the realm of uh, truth, or you know, the, the Dharmakaya, along with the functions, you know, which give rise to our realm of consciousness. These two together is known as the Tathagata or the Buddha nature. So uh, one way to, to describe it, to understand it, is that uh, on the basis of the, the realm of wisdom of the Buddhas, our realm of consciousness can arise. So as mentioned earlier, the, the entire thing, you know, that our realm of consciousness arising on the basis of the of the realm of the Buddha's wisdom, this entirety is known as the Tathagata or the Buddha nature. So to call it an entirety might even you know, be, be in some ways misleading. It might be more properly to understand it as just like our hands, you know, that you know we have the the palm and the uh, back of the hand, you know. It's too in unison that we call it a hand. So, you know, the two realms of wisdom and consciousness is just like that. You know, they are in unison, in union, that cannot be separated. So this state of Tathagata uh, uh, or the Buddha nature can be understood as uh, the union of wisdom and our cognizing consci- consciousness. So it's the union of the two. So here we have the so this day of non-duality or coalescence of the two state or two realms, you can think of it like a TV screen. If the, the realm of wisdom can be th- thought of as a TV screen, then all the images arise on a TV screen can be thought of as consciousness or the realm of consciousness. This day is, can, be, can be used as a metaphor to describe the Tathagatagarabha. You have to, this is very crucial to understand this particular metaphor or this notion of non-duality or even coalescence to understand the Buddhist thinking on Tathagatagarabha. Woman, woman, the jang, 
，我们这个世间一些东西，一些法，说一些法，法，一些法，达拉玛，他的自胜是什么呢？我们佛家在讲自胜是空的。So for all phenomena, or what what Master Kemp just said, for all dharma, all things that we experience,、um, what exactly is their the nature, their self nature, and we speak of them as empty. Their self nature is empty. They use many different definitions to explain the empty. So I don't explain their definition. 我就只讲跟着如来讲，怎么样讲这个空生。There are many, many ways of describing or many sayings about this emptiness, and Master Tan will not describe them. From now on, he make use of Buddha nature or the Buddha doctrine to describe emptiness. From now on, 我可以说，没有一个宗派讲空是能够像用如来讲讲空这么究竟的。So so far, there has not been a particular Buddha sect has described. Um, emptiness in in an ultimate way as much as the Buddha nature doctrine. 一个荧光屏上面有东西显现了。So there's some images arising on the TV screen. 如果你问这些影像的自身是什么 ？So when you ask what's the self nature of these images? 很容易回答你，它的自身就是荧光屏的身。The answer is actually quite simple. The, the self nature, is in fact, is the nature of the TV screen. This is not for debate. Because these images in the light shine, it is necessary to use the light of the sun to make it its nature. So the fact that the, the, the images are rising on the TV screen, then, then the only thing they can go by is the, the, the nature of the TV screen in order to rise. They cannot go by any other way. 所以这样，假如我们把荧光屏叫做空，它的自身是空，所以一切影像一定就是空性。So if we describe the TV screen as empty or emptiness, then the images must be also of the emptiness nature.、嗯、那现在问题就是，你为什么把荧光屏叫做空 ？So now the question is, why do we describe the TV screen as empty? 那么就要这个要从这个空的梵文来理解了。So now you have to understand the the original Sanskrit of emptiness to understand. 梵文的空讲空是生雅。So that's the Sanskrit for emptiness. 生雅的是什么意思？生雅就是零。生雅 actually means zero in Sanskrit. 所以他说生雅他。空圣，空圣，这个是空。So the first one means zero. The second one, sanyata, ta means zero. 那么这个 sanyata 的意思其实就是零圣。So the nature of zero. Or、oh, so、zeroness. So emptiness, zeroness. Not emptiness. Zero. The nature of the zero is sanyata. The nature. Zero. The nature of the zero. <laughs> 